In this video, we are going to see how to do something that you will probably find stupid easy at this point, reading and writing show and user variables from within your plugins. And since this functionality is so incredibly easy to use, I actually have some uh, screen space to sprinkle in some goodies on top. So you know what? Let's just go ahead and copy and paste this code over to the console and run it. All right. Now let's do the usual dance. Control A, Control C, Alt tap over to the right window and then Control A, Control V. And you can see that this is the second take of this video. Um, all right, let's run this and we can see here a bunch of outputs and then um, the list var command and a bunch of output from the list var command. All right, pretty simple, huh? So the very first and trivial thing here is that you can see how we can get the value of a bunch of show variables. Pretty straightforward, right? Um, just a couple of observations here. You don't need to write the dollar sign in front of the variable name in order to use it in your plugins like you would usually have to do it when you, for example, uh, use it as a variable in macros. And the second thing you'll notice here is that um, here's a bunch of variables that you probably never defined, right? In that case, um, if this is the first time you're seeing these variables, please take a look at the output of the list var uh, command as sort of this last part in this plugin. Um, because this example is a friendly reminder that there's a bunch of useful variables in MA2 that you should make use of. And best of them is, in my opinion, the selected fixtures count, which is very useful. Um, lastly, let's take a look at how we can set variables. And also, this is so straightforward that I thought I used this uh, opportunity to show you something that might be a bit confusing at first. So what we're doing here is we're using a single quote character inside of a single quote text. And usually that would mean that the text sort of runs only from this to this part. But we already see in the syntax highlighting that it accepts this whole string, right? That's possible because we are including this backslash character before this single tick quotation mark. And Whenever you use a backslash in Lua, that's starting what is generally called an escape sequence. So sort of the, the character that follows this backslash character loses its meaning and is just used as the plain character that it is, right? So usually this is sort of marking the start and the end of a text. But in this case, since we're um, you know putting this backslash character in front of it, it's losing its complete meaning for the code and instead is just used as this character. So for all the other options that you have there, uh, you can just look up escape sequences in Lua. And, you know, bottom line, this is why we can use this uh, single quote character inside of, um, you know, this text. And that's definitely a valid way for you to also um, make use of these different characters um, and kind of mix it up. All in all, these examples show you how you can uh, set and get show variables. And if you want to get or set user variables, just replace the show with user. So instead of running gma.show.getVar or setVar, you would run gma.user.getVar and setVar. And uh, that's essentially it for variables. Just keep in mind, you can definitely make good use of all the built-in variables that um, MA2 ships with. And I just showed you how you can access those values in your plugins. Incredibly useful.